Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I feel like it should be a staple in your makeup routine and if it already is, that means that you are like me and you either suffer from dark circles, fine lines, and anything like that, any acne scarring and stuff like that that just some foundations can't really cover. Um, that is the reason why I started using concealer. I believe I was 16 because I had started working. I was going to school and I was getting very, very ugly under eye circles and I just, I was very scared of them. So, um, I started using that and along the way I, I found some that I started loving and then also some that I hate. So I just wanted to share with you guys a few, um, of my favorites and what they do for me and why I have them and why I feel like they are my holy grail concealers. Keep in mind that I have a few of them and I'm gonna be showing you ones that I like and also some that I really regret buying. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Clinique was actually a brand that I completely switched over to when I couldn't use MAC anymore. Uh, MAC would break me out really bad, so that's why I had to find an alternative. This is a concealer that I just keep repurchasing because I love it. Um, I haven't bought this in a really long time, so I'm not sure if the packaging changed. But basically, it is the City Cover Compact Concealer, and this is what it looks like. It is very thick and creamy. It is very good at covering and all that stuff. Um, for my under eyes, I've always used a lighter concealer, and then I always use... Uh, more of my skin tone concealer to use around my face. So Clinique City Cover, very good. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer. And I love this one because it had a skin tone, which was this one for me, and then a lighter one that I used kind of to highlight and then under my eyes just to give it some brightness. So I love this concealer for a long time. But then I started noticing that it was drying out. It was getting really hard to get the product out and also blend. So this one I tend to go to, I really, really want to cover something like around my face. I'll just use it in the areas where I have to cover, as you see. I mean, I feel like this is still really good as concealer. I think you just have to be more active using it or else it will dry out on you. Next is this Bobbi Brown Concealer, and I got this at a CCO a long time ago. But for a really long time, this concealer was my favorite thing in the world. And this is also a concealer that I tend to go back to. And it is just very creamy. It is very good at covering areas. So this one, I tend to use it more in the winter time, um, just since I am lighter to uh, hide any acne scarring that my foundation doesn't cover. If you've been a long time uh, watcher of mine, you know about this concealer and my love for it. And also the great thing about this concealer, I don't want to open it, but um, in the bottom here, it has a setting powder and it's just like the Ben Nye banana powder. It is also yellow and that is the most amazing part. This powder I use all the time, whether I use this concealer or not, just because I love the finish that it gives me. I just absolutely love this concealer. Since I had a time when I was in love with Benefit Cosmetics, I decided to give Boing a try. I got it in shade number two. And this is just a concealer that I absolutely hated. I remember the first time I bought it, it reminded me a lot of the Laura Mercier and it was like a cheaper alternative. And the only thing that I like about this concealer is that it fits my skin tone very, very well. I have no idea why I bought it and why I never got rid of it. Now I'm gonna go to my drugstore concealers, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. But I've been loving this concealer forever since I bought it. And this is actually the um, neutralizer one. This is just to lighten up the under eye area. And I mean, if you haven't noticed by now, that's basically what I use the concealer for. Anything that is eye brightening, I am in love with and that has any type of benefit also a treatment and to be honest with you i did see a lot of change with this because i used to have puffy eyes and that kind of went away when i started using this and i think it was this in conjunction with my eye cream which i use i hope philosophy so i think these two products together they help my bags disappear and also my under eye dark circles and then i used to have really bad shading and shadows in between right here and those also disappeared because 
Um, if you've ever seen me do my makeup, I like to go all the way in because I had those really dark shadows there and now they are completely gone and I feel like I have this to thank and also my I Hope by Philosophy and I feel like concealers wouldn't matter if you don't have a good under eye cream to be the base of your concealer. This is something that should be in everybody makeup stash and I mean everyone. If you suffer from dark under eye circles, this has to be in your stash. Because it is very cheap, affordable, it blends really well. Don't let it scare you because of its color. But this is the NYX concealer and this is the lightweight full coverage in orange. And orange is just that one color that will counteract all blues, blacks, purples. So this is definitely something that you should have or look into or try at least once in your life because it is life changing. Um, I don't use it as much as anymore, but this is something that completely changed my life. This is crease free and I tried their other concealers before, which are also really, really nice. Around last year, around this same exact time, I was suffering from really bad dark under eye circles because of work, because of the holidays and everything like that. And this was my savior and um, this is just amazing. Was it for my concealer spiel? I hope you guys liked it. Thumbs up if you did. Um, go ahead and share this video. Like I said, I feel like concealers is something definitely that should be part of your stash because it will come in handy one day. And I think you should step out of your comfort zone and try different ones. I'm so glad I did or else I would have never found as many concealers as I found that I love. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, 1627Jackie for both, and leave your suggestions below on what you want to see next. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.